plain bad luck. Celtic lost five of their following seven matches, taking just four points in the process. When St Mirren came to Parkhead in October, Celtic found themselves in seventh position. Things would have to change, and quickly. Logan playing it in, there's David Winnie. McStay picks it up for Celtic. Paul McStay! Three minutes on the clock, the perfect start for Celtic. Paul McStay collecting his first goal of the season for his club. And this was something of a disaster for the St. Mon defence, and David Winnie in particular. Trying to play that pass, it came off. Roy Aiken, Paul McStay was there in a flash. The ball skinning off the surface, into the corner, away from Campbellman. I'm sure that's a goal which he'll particularly welcome this afternoon. Hamilton doing well, there's Cameron. Now Brian Martin. And Walter, it's cut off by Rogan. Easy turn pass and Rogan couldn't collect it. Here's Peter Godfrey for St. Martin. Like Walter is on site, a great chance for St. Martin. And the clearance was by Derek White. Superb defensive play by Derek White. The Celtic defence caught square. They thought that Big Walter was offside. Ruff came to beat him. The big centre forward beat him, but there was White with that very important chance. Easy for Ruff. It appeared to be a push by McAvenny, but no whistle and it's Celtic on the attack with Joe Miller. Oh, good play by Miller. Godfrey blocks the shot, but here's Paul next day. Logan supporting. from Rogan, Wallace arrives, brilliantly finished by McGee, a magnificent goal for Celtic, 15 minutes gone, now this was sheer magic from Celtic, high quality cross from Anton Rogan, Wallace arriving very quickly, now look at this by Gillard from Mark McGee, money was deceived and Celtic up to it. Walter again causing problems for McCarthy in the air. There's Cameron. Up goes Chammers. It's a brilliant goal for St. Martin. They're back in the match with 27 minutes on the clock. Former Celtic player Paul Chammers. Again, the long ball from Campbell Money. McWalter causing problems for McCarthy. Then laying it wide for Cameron. And this was a superb little chip. Chamas getting up well, directing the header off the post and behind Alan Rock. There's Godfrey, not very decisive with the clearance. This is Mark McGee. Got it done by Davis. There's Stark. Congratulations to Campbell Money, Billy Stark restoring the two goal advantage. Half an hour on the clock, another long ball out, this time from Alan Ruff. This clearance of Peter Godfrey will give him some nightmares. Picked up there by McGee. As the ball was cleared from this header from Davis, there was Stark that came off Godfrey beyond Campbell Money. And it's 3-1 to something. McCarthy to Morris. Cooper has to be careful. Now Winnie. Trying to turn away from Morris, losing his footing. It's still Chris Morris. Mark McGee! 
he makes it 4-1. And the St. Mundy defence is breached once again. 11 minutes from half-time. The cross came from Billy Stark. It was the determined play by Chris Morris. There was David Winnie. He didn't get the ball clear, stumbling. And here's Chris Morris now. Here's some great work by Morris. Hooking it back to Billy Stark, an accurate cross and a flashing header from McGee. And Martin's clearance goes beyond McWalter. Covering player is Aiken. McGee to McAvenny. McGee sets off again with Cooper covering. The ball is still in play, there's McGee. Turned in by Miller. Celtic strip. And Joe Miller certainly enjoyed that, as did the Celtic fans. 17 minutes into the second half. Mark McGee, the scorer of two goals earlier, comes provider. Following this ball from Frank McAvenny, and Neil Cooper will not enjoy watching this again. Trying to let it go for a goal kick, but it was McGee who won it in the challenge, left Cooper behind, rifled over the cross, and the flying header from Joe Miller. Here's Miller. Side is mixed A. And another special from Mark McGee. Rapturous applause around the stadium and little wonder. That was another magnificent goal from McGee. Here's how it was built up. Joe Miller seeing a gap to lay it inside for Paul McStay. The early ball played in bouncing. McGee took it and left money helpless. Free kick was aimed for Rogan. His next day, and Fulton. Here's McGee. Do they start? McGee the creator once again well played this through by Fulton to McGee resisting the challenge taking time to look up and play it into Billy Stark an emphatic win over a strong start